everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade and today I am doing my favorite books of 2017. Excuse the sun. It's horrible. It's all over the place. Ugh. But you can see me. <laughs> Alright. So, I have quite a few books and this is probably not all of my favorite ones but it's the only ones I could think of. I'm really not good at recording what I've read yet which is why I haven't done a wrap up recently. Because a lot of the books I've been getting at the library and stuff, and um, I forget what I've read this month. I honestly, I know I've read a couple books this December, but I don't even know what they are. So I'm going to work on writing that down again. And I'm going to work on writing down books I love and books I hate. Because I want to do a Worst Books 2017, but I don't know any books that I don't like. I mean, I usually like books a lot, so I already shut my blinds. So this... This is an issue for me. Okay, let's just get into the video, but if you guys want to talk about your favorite books in the comments down below, please do, and then maybe I'll read them if I haven't already, or I'll talk about why they aren't in this video if I have read them. So, my first book, let's see, alright, I'm trying to think of what book I read first, and I think... Because these are all recent reads. Actually, this one isn't that recent. Okay, so the first book I have on here is And I Darken by Kirsten White. This is one of my favorite books of all time. Definitely a five-star read. If you haven't, like, heard about what this is about, it's a Vlad the Impaler retelling, which I totally disagree with, at least for the first book. I don't see how that makes any sense at all. But it's about a girl who is a Welsh princess and her twin bro- no. Are they twins? I think they're twins. But her twin brother, who is a Welsh prince, I don't know if they're twins. But anyways, their father gives them up to the Ottomans for basically hostages so that he can keep his kingdom. So they are raised there and Lada is more fierce and she does what she wants and gets what she wants and then her brother um he's really shy he cries a lot he's emotional and he's always wanted her to love him and she does in her own way but she keeps what she loves hidden and they meet the ottoman prince one of the princes and they become really good friends with him and then stuff goes very downhill and a lot happens and I need to read the second one. I don't know why I haven't yet, but I'm going to do that soon, I hope. My next book I read this year is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, also a five-star read. This book is told from the point of view of death, which makes it so much more interesting. And um, it's about a girl that who's German during World War II, and her parents end up hiding a Jew in the basement. But he's noticed her because there's been death around her so many times and the three times that he's seen her, she's always intrigued him. So when she finally does die, he decides to tell her story. And it's really heartbreaking and beautiful and it's one of the best books I've ever read. And I want to read some other books by Marcus Suzak. It's definitely an instant classic, so if you haven't read it, you definitely need to, guys. Definitely need to. My next one... Ooh, this is definitely the first one I've read this year. That's one of my favorite. The Her Air of Fire by Sarah J. Mass. This is the third book to the Throne of Glass series, so I can't, I can't go in detail. But I think I've only read the first three, but I think that this is the best one I've read so far. Um, it's just... The plot lines and the character development is really, really good in this book. And though I loved, I think every book I love more and more in this series so far, but I've heard it kind of goes downhill. But I love how different this book was from the others. It was so different and so, so much more of the world is explained in this book. Like, there's always been world building, but now the magic system is explained a lot more than it was before. And it's so good. And I need to continue the series. I know that. The next one's The Queen of Shadows, which is a giant book. This one's like, what? almost 500 pages the next one is totally above 500 pages so that's kind of why I haven't read it yet which is a bad reason and I need to I hate the sun I I look like I have stripes all right the next book I read this year that I absolutely love is The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid this is 
a world where, um, it's a sci-fi fantasy. So they live in space, but the government has banned all things scientific. So they have this really, really advanced science, but it's starting to deteriorate and no one knows how to fix it. But these, me, like these artificial humans called diabolics were created and their entire purpose is to protect the person they were made for. And they will die to do that and they are unstoppable. They're kind of like the Terminator, honestly. And this diabolic, whose name is Nemesis, um, she wants to protect her person and the only way she can do that is to go to the capital and pretend to be Sidonia, who is the girl she is trying to protect. So she has to pretend to be a Sidonia in this place full of people who, you know, court stuff. And it's hard because diabolics aren't supposed to feel emotion, so she has to pretend to feel emotion until she starts actually feeling emotion. And a lot of very sad things happen in this book, and I really need to read the sequel, and I need to get it, and I love it so much. <laughs> Alright, so my next one is Truth Witch by Susan Denard. This is about a girl, two girls, their best friends. Um, the one is a truth witch and the other is a thread witch. Truth witches are really rare. rare. They're really rare. They're really rare, and there's only one every hundred years or so. And um, when people find out there's a truth witch, they'll do anything to capture them to use them for their own desires. And a thread witch who who can see, um, like threads from people that show their emotions and like how they feel towards other people so they are really good friends and they work together and then stuff happens and they are put in danger and they have to make it to a different place where hopefully if they make it in time they will be safe they can find a way to escape people who are hunting them. This book is beautiful, and I love it, and um, you guys need to read it. And the next book is called Wind Witch, and I really need to read that one too. Two books that I need to read the sequels for this year. Actually, no. Three books that I need to read the sequels for. These are series that I really need to finish. And actually four, because Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. This is one of the best fantasy books that I have ever read, I believe. Um, the world building is amazing, the magic system is the most original thing I've ever seen, and it's one of the best authors that I've ever read. So, it's about a world where, you know, the one prophesied hero who will save everyone fails. And so now the world is ruled by the Lord Ruler, who is immortal, and he's lived for thousands of years, and he has a very, very oppressive slave system called the Sukasukos? Something like that. Most people are slaves, basically, and the other ones are nobles. And there's these people called Mistborns, who have powers over metals, which they can use. There's um, a metal called P. I'm not going to pronounce it correctly, but there's metals for strength, for seeing better, for, oh, what are some of the metals? Well, they're, like, you burn the metals and by swallowing them, and then you can feel them in your heart, and you can burn them, and some burn faster, some burn slower, and they do different things, and they decide, um, well, the characters in this book decide to do a heist, because they're, they're the best heist team ever. But then one of them got captured and got sent to this um, place where you mine for um, these gems that if you don't find one a week, you'll get beaten to death. But so they decide to, he come he escapes, and no one's ever escaped this place before. And he decides to come back and start a heist. And he meets V, I think her name's V. Yeah, Vin, Vin. He meets Vin, and she finds out she's a misborn. And he includes her in the heist. And um, the heist is to take down the Lord Ruler and install a new government. Which is a very impossible task. And it's a really good book. It's a really big book too. It doesn't seem like it. 
but it's 666 pages, not six, in 61 pages, 66 pages, ha. Huh. Um, it's really big, but it's really good, and you actually go through it really fast. So the next book I have here is Poison Study by Mara Lee Schneider. This book is also, these are all series. They're all series I have to finish, besides two of them, which are standalones. This is about a girl who is about to get hung for murder because it's a militaristic government where the military rules and if you murder someone, no matter the reason, you get killed as well. So she's about to be hung for her murder. But then she gets asked if she wants to become the um, food tester for the commander. And she gets taught in poison. And you find out why she killed someone. You find out... Oh my god. This book. It's just... There's so much that happens. And it's so good. And I love it. It's one of my favorite books I've ever read, and it makes me want to cry thinking about it. So I need to continue reading this series as well. I just... Too many series. And the last book I have on my list today is They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. If you weren't expecting this, who are you? The beautiful cover. Uh, this book is about two boys in a world where the day you die... You get a phone call that tells you in the next 24 hours you're going to die. And there's an app called Last Friends where it connects you. It's kind of like Tinder, but it's like, it's a fr for friends. So you get connected with friends and these two boys who are going to die that day meet each other. And a lot happens. And it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. And the characters are so amazing. And I love it so much. And it's just... It's just such a good book, and it made me cry, and I think all these books probably made me cry, honestly, like, no, not all of them. Quite a few of them did, though. <laughs> but that's all I have for my favorite books in 2017. Like I said, leave what yours are down below so I can add some books, hopefully, to my favorites of 2018. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye!